Happy Summer Festival, everybody! I'm the Orange Genius, but you may call me Eric, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Heroes, Trails of Cold Steel. I'm the Orange... I just said that. I said it the other way around, just to trick myself this time. Alright, um, we are on patrol throughout Heimdaller, or through Heimdaller, because uh, we got assigned to look through basically every district and look out for suspicious looking things. Um, we are done in the Garnier district? Garnier district. Vita Clotilde uh, apparently noticed um, a couple of men talking about a quote unquote plan. They had their caps, um, like their their faces were obscured and all that good stuff. Basically, she wasn't able to hear anything in particular, though. It was just suspicious. The same goes for something that happened in Alto Street as well. A f flat, like someone living there, up and disappeared completely out of the blue. And, uh, you know, the first thing I would have thought was going to happen is we were going to ask people who knew the person, but apparently no one knew. Or, the, like, Reen didn't come up with that, so I don't uh, actually know what's going on there. But, point being, we're done in uh, the Garnier district. Next is the Oz district. Alright. How did your decorations go? There's... Okay, there's a little bit of confetti. What would you call that? Like the little, the the little um, colored pieces of paper flying down from the top. I would call that confetti, but that might just be the German word for it, and I don't know what the English word for it is. If that is true, I mean, but definitely very cool effect. Got to be honest there. Got to be honest. All right. Er, okay. And here's the entrance to the underground waterway. What would something like this be doing in a residential area? Especially with all the monsters in it. That's just time dollar. They find entrances to underground areas from time to time, but it's not much cause for uh, much cause for concern. Everyone's smart enough to know that they are, they shouldn't be uh, go near them. That puts me at ease. Nonetheless, everything seems to be in order here. Huh? What's wrong, Fee? Did you notice something? Nothing. Chances are nobody's in there right now. Nice to know. Problem is, the footprints we left when we came out of here yesterday are gone. And what does that mean? It's likely that someone went in there yesterday after we all came out. Then they erased any evidence that would suggest they had, erasing our footsteps in the process. Uh, sounds about right. Are you certain you're oh, not overanalyzing this? Not completely. It doesn't hurt to keep in the back of our minds at the very least. That's all there is to investigate in the Oz district. Time to move on to one of the other area does, uh, areas in the city. Well, I would barricade this door if I knew that happened. And then I would decide, oh, I still want to check that place out, so better find another way to get in there because I barricaded this one. Alright, might not be the best of ideas. Meow. You notice anything, little kitty? She didn't. She was asleep. Like kittens do. Often. Meow. I'm going out with Grandpa and Nono today. <laughs> this is gonna be so fun. Is it though? Jar Jar won't stop pestering me about taking her to the summer festival, so I finally gave in. Well, a promise is a promise. I'll take her wherever she wants to go. It's your grandpa. Why do you call it pestering? Jesus. This will be the first time that Cha Cha gets to see the summer festival. <laughs> She's been begging Keith non stop since yesterday, so I hope they both have a wonderful time. Pestering. You should be happy to have your grandchild, uh, and to, to take your grandchild through, through the city you've grown up in. Experiencing that together you should be happy dude Ordinarily you would have to, to carry the kitten as well, but the kitten is right there on the ground everything's okay You're in perfect place. Okay, you guys uh, Nice decorations nice confetti and everything. I Really should be working right now, but oh well Happy summer festival. Here's uh, here's to things going well for the rest of the year, too 
Really should be working, but eh, work. Hey Johnny, happy summer festival! We got some juice from the pub. This calls for toast. Hey Johnny! All the decorations you see here? Yeah, that was us. Hmm, this is more like it. One decoration. Two. All right, no, it's not that. It's not on the way. To what? Wait. Wait. What? I'm gonna keep that one for last. Oh, Jim and his wife are out. Mm, what are you doing in here? Oh, they just told me Jim. Uh, they just told Jim he had to go into work today out of nowhere. We were supposed to go to the summer festival together today too. <laughs> Why does Idios have to be so cruel? Huh, that's highly suspicious. It's all Jim's fault. It's all Jim's fault. Three decorations. For three decorations. Johnny should be working today. It doesn't it? Do, it's not fair. Happy Summer Festival! It seems like something's fun. Uh, something fun's going on over at the, at the pub. <laughs> Guess I'll have to check it out. All right, that that really does sound like something very interesting and very fun. Four decorations. I think I'm off count, but that's besides the point. Five decorations. Anyone in here? Anyone in here? No one in here? Okay, fair enough. Wait a second. Elliot, what are you doing? You have a Zen Quartz equipped. Fee, what are you doing? Fee, behave. You're part of the main party. Look who it is! Mr. Tills! Oh, look, it's Mr. Tiddles. He looks pretty relaxed. Yeah, seems like everything's peaceful around here. Meow. 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 No. Mr. Tiddles. Aren't you afraid? Mr. Tiddles is watching you, cat. Meow. Nope. She's aggressively trying to avoid the topic. Look at her look. She's she's desperately trying to avoid eye contact. It's a fact. It's a fact. She's looking right at this grate, right? When waiting for a rat to come out? Oh, she's ready. Okay, now over to the fun part. Guys. Guys, this is Are you kidding? Damn, that geezer got us good. We barged in to cause some trouble, but he ended up forcing us to work instead. We'll get him back for good this time. Damn, that geezer got us good. M might, might I ask what you're doing here, Petri? The hell does it look like for us? I'm running the stall. Any delinquent worth her salt knows that festivals are the best way to empty people's wallets. 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 What's a wallet? I'm not sure how you're going to do that by handing out balloons. Uh, one day she'll drop the delinquent act, hopefully. Hey assholes, one balloon per person. Anyone that tries to take two is getting their face kicked in. Wow, Pedri, I'm impressed. You're a natural born salesman. Shut your face or I'll do it for you. Thumbs up. I want this one balloon. You know which one. You know which one. You know, I don't... I would probably give... I, I would probably give a reasonably small amount of money to have that balloon and be able to equip it on the equipment menu in this costume slot. And have it look the same as this, this like, little doll, but just that balloon instead. I would, I would give a reasonably small amount of money for that, but, but not any more than a reasonably small amount. And there's only one of those balloons too. You guys are awesome.
The cat balloon in the cat district. Nice. This is a nice place. They lured me in with a free drink with a free drink, but this place has a nice homey atmosphere. Nice place. Okay, kitten, why are you awake? This is the first time ever. Meow. Meow. Uh. Meow meow. <laughs> I guess you want some then. Fine, fine, just be patient. Who doesn't want some? Welcome! Today and today only we'll give you a free drink with any order. Don't forget to order our big fry up, it's a summer festival exclusive. Gamji finally gave in and agreed to do something special for the festival. Whoa! This is gonna be a fun day! Oh, are you here for a drink too? We'll, well, get in here. We can all toast together. Here's to a good second half of the year for young and old alike. Magil. Old Lady Magil. Have I seen you somewhere? <sighs> I don't know. No idea. How exciting to celebrate with strangers! Speaking of which, cheers! Alright, Gamji, you owe me a drink. You know what? I'm feeling generous today, so here you go! Okay, that's not a drink, dude. That's not a drink. You kids got got it rough with all those tasks you've got, don't you? Keep it up, keep up the hard work. I didn't really want to do anything special today, but Regalov just wouldn't stop yapping about it, so I gave in. I've told everyone in the neighborhood about it too, so they'll probably start showing up any minute now. Ugh, it's gonna be a busy day. Dude, I want I want a drink though. I want some golden juice, but I'm not gonna pay for it. Because I'm not gonna pay for it. Jesus. I could just, you know, get up to 30k and not feel so bad about my money, but still, I'm not gonna pay for that. I really would like to to pay like 20k for another evergreen instead, but I'm not gonna do a, do that either because that's that's you like ludicrous. 20k? No way! All right, we are done in the Oz district. I do want to take another look at the. At this, uh, at the underground area here, though. There wouldn't be anyone to talk to here, would there? Am I gonna actually go through this instead? Yeah, I'm gonna go over to the port, but I'm gonna go through the underground waterway. Way, 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 way. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Chi. I don't, I do want to avoid, avoid encounters. Hi, sir. Bye, sir. Do, 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 do. Man, fish is faster than I was expecting him to be. Nope. Well, their reaction timing is about the reaction timing of a human being. By which I mean to say, it sucks. So everything's good. Pot. Ha! Woo! Ha! Woo! Already worth. Already worthwhile. I don't wait. Yeah, on underground waterway number one. That's where I want to go. Do, 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 do. Don't notice me, fishy. Actually, that's probably the fishy I want to fight. But that's okay, we don't need to fight right now. No one to be seen in here either. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let's see if I can go the right way. Oh, good lord. That looks like a tough one. Be careful! Oh, watch out! This is a tough one! How's that not okay. a disadvantage encounter? Time to retreat. Bye bye. Bye bye. Wait, no. Do do do. Okay, big fishy. No. That's a big no no. 
Big no no. I don't like birds. Well, I actually. I don't like those birds. Okay, we're at the port. There's people to talk to here. What's with you, dude? Bateau? What? You want me to load all these on my own? Yeah, you've got to be kidding me! Where the hell did those new guys go? Hmm, the new guys are gone. Ended up having to give give up my day off after a bunch of workers quit their jobs all of a sudden or something. Oh, I promised Grassy I'd spend the day with her too. I'm so sorry, Grass. Ended up having to... Oh, okay. I mean, you know... I don't know. Oh, you look chill. No, you don't. Oh, man, I had so many crates piled up. Safety first is the rule around here. Nothing good comes from rushing. Oh, man. Ah, you look pretty cool, though. Nah. You're the dude who does work. I can't believe the nerve of those guys. You can't just quit out of nowhere without even giving us proper notice. Haven't they got one responsible bone in their bodies? I swear. Well, in Germany, that wouldn't even be possible. Because, uh, you know... How, how do you put it? When you, when you actually decide to quit your job, you usually have, like, still three months of work to do after you announce that you're gonna quit your job. Because, you know, that's, that's what contracts are all about. Okay, you guys, what's up? What in Idios' name are we supposed to do now? You're telling me young folks these days can't count on any of them. Is there some kind of problem here? Oh, you're those students from yesterday. As a matter of fact, we do have a bit of a problem on our hands right now. What kind of problem? Well, it's nothing you'd need to worry about. But last night a bunch of our younger workers up and quit, just like that. Most of them hadn't been here for more than half a year. But they just they just started getting a, a, a really getting used to the work, too. Now, thanks to that, our schedule's been thrown all, all out of whack. Hmm, that is a significant problem. Is there anything we might be able to lend a hand with? Nah, this one's all on us. We should be able to fix our own problems after all. If, they're gonna, if they were gonna quit, they would have at least... Uh, if they were gonna quit, they could have at least struck around long enough to train their, their replacements. I'll bet they got all caught up in the festival hoopla and just decided to cut out of work altogether. It's all too much to ask for... Is it too much to ask for a few hands to appreciate a good day's work? Something about this kind of is fishy. I get the people. I get that people would be all all excited about the summer festival, but enough to quit their jobs. The timing does seem suspicious. Yeah, let's keep this in the back of our minds for now. That's all there is to investigate here. Time to move on to one of the new uh, uh, one of the other areas. Yeah, there really wasn't much over here, except for a bunch of sweaty rushing people. Rushing, not Russian. Big difference. Big difference. All right, Madra Park. Hey, you can't go here. Those damn Imperial Guardsmen are so full of themselves. They keep getting worse every year. Those damn Imperial Guardsmen. Oh, you're the students helping out with security, aren't you? We've heard all about you. Feel free to come on in. Oh, that's awfully nice of you. This appears to be a, 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 to be appropriately well guarded. The soldiers patrolling the park appear to be from the Heimdaller military police. It looks like the Imperial Guard from Valflame Palace is in charge of security for the Crystal Garden itself, though. I imagine the security is going to be airtight considering the garden party is going to be held there. Yeah, especially with Princess Alfine in attendance. This level of security probably uh, is probably standard when it comes to members of the Imperial family. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, arrogant voice. It must be Patrick, huh? Patrick Hirams. Or is it... Ah, familiar. <laughs> I, s I thought I smelled something familiar. Yeah, hi. Hey, isn't that... Ah, Patrick, you're here too. <laughs> but of course, I did receive a personal invitation to the garden party after all. 
I see you're all tied up with your field studies or whatever you call them, or even on such a fine day. You poor souls. Ugh, he really does get under my skin. I've gotten used to it already. Hmm. Are you alone today? I was under the impression that your butler Celestin always attends you, but I don't see him today. Hmm. It's true, he's often at my side, but I spend plenty of time on my own as well. Don't take me for one of those useless nobles who can hardly lace his boots without the butler's help. I always got the impression his butler was there was there more to keep an eye on him. Did you say something? Me? Of course not. <laughs> well, I wouldn't want to get in your way. I'm sure they have you running all kinds of menial errands. Meanwhile, I intend to introduce, to introduce myself to Princess Elphine. Try not to be too jealous now. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me. Nice, walking right through that policeman. I can't say I'm all that jealous, considering all that time we spent talking with her yesterday. She even invited Reen to be her dance partner. You know, after seeing that, I can't even bring myself to be irritated by him anymore. Well, the security in this area seems perfect, so it should be relatively safe from terrorists. Yeah, I think it's time to move on to another area. Are you sure it's perfect? Hmm, is something bothering you? I feel like we are forgetting something. Hmm, now that you mention it... Ah, well, maybe it'll come back to us later. What? Are you... are you nuts? What about the area into the... What? But... Are you shitting me right now? What about the place back there that's totally easily accessible from the outside? What? Dudes. Wow. All clear. More and more guests are starting to arrive now, so let's keep our eyes open. As much as the Imperial Guardsmen might complain, we're here to do our job. As such, we'll make sure security here remains tight. Let's stay away from here so we don't bother security. The RMP told us to make sure that we keep, we keep security here extra tight. They were awfully cagey about why though. Just what are they expecting to happen? All right, I'm definitely gonna try going over there to the fa pavilion, or to that, like, little area through the hotel. Because reasons. And if you give me a prompt, no, I don't want to bother security in this area. I'm going to kick your butt. No, I'm probably gonna just kick my own butt. That's, wait, you didn't lock the door, did you? No, he didn't. Okay, we want to go to the underground passage too. Hey! Oh, you're running away from me. How cool is that? Hey, Mudman! Mudman, come and get it. Now's our chance! Mudman drops you material. And we want to murder Mud My turn. Mudman with Laura or with Here. Reen. Here we go. Preferably with both. Or do I have? I have a rush. So, what happened to my links? What happened to my links? Wow! Nice. Nice game. The second form. Gale. I'm gonna use Rush, even though it's probably overkill. Understood. Understood. <laughs> your swordsmanship gets better to with to every battle. Nice. Nice. Laura's dialogue, Reen's dialogue, happening absolutely on top of each other. I love it. To you, materials! Nice! Alright, we're getting there. Talk about it. What happened? What happened, guys? Are you crazy? Why'd you, why'd you break now? Why'd you break li your links off? 
Sleeping for one night and you already don't like each other anymore, huh? I mean, I guess. I guess. Probably didn't sleep very well, did ya? Fat bat. Nice, fat bat runs away from me. Gimme. Eh. Eh. I don't care about you. Oh my god. Three guys. It's very convenient that the, the guys are running away from me. Mudman. What? Mudman is running away? Now's our chance. Let's get him. I'll handle it. Mudman, why are you so scared? No, don't, don't. Here. Don't do that one. Here we go. Let's link you with Laura again and do that Gale again. The second form, Gale. Go. An opening. Easy. My turn. Easy as pie. Hey. Leave it to me. I'll handle it. Now I realize why it was good to do with going. a rush attack on the last battle. Eh, because um, it would, only the rushes actually affects a larger group of enemies. Because the normal, the normal, or uh, the normal attack only, uh, only attacks one, right? <laughs> Okay. Please drop your material, so. Let's get him. I'll handle it. Boom, boom. Go. Boom. Now's a chance. Nice. An opening. Your swords I don't. Gets I don't need you guys to talk. Battle. I just want that new material, though. Okay, we already got like uh, four new materials in this episode. We didn't even do much, so that's cool. Isn't it? Don't give me dialogue about how this is not a good idea. Don't. Don't you dare. Wait. Wait, oh no. Well, here we are, back in Madra Park. It still feels weird using the underground passage to get here. This would be a bit of a problem then, right? What are you... What are you doing over there? How did you manage to slip through all the security? Where did you come from? They seem to regard us in as intruders. Looks like we found a little hole in their security. I don't think this is... Uh, uh, I don't think this is the time to pat ourselves on the back. Yeah, we're probably gonna need to explain what happened. I see, so you're students from a military academy, are you? So, there was a secret passage here all along. And it extends into the underground tunnels as well. We had no records of this at all. We discovered it purely by coincidence during our field study. However, it's certainly not implausible that it might be used by unsavory groups to breach security. We'll station some of our men to this area at once. I hate to admit it, but you've really helped us out by, by bringing this to our attention. You have my thanks. Then think nothing of it. Um, we're just happy to have been of assistance. Looks like this area should be fine now. Yeah, let's move on to somewhere else. AP increased by two. Well, look at that. Look at that. And you made me walk. At least they didn't make me walk all that way for nothing. And now there's three guys standing over there. And I'm not going to be able to talk to them. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm debating whether I do that again and talk to those three guys. Is, is that even... That's not... That can't be worthwhile, right? Uh. <laughs> I don't wanna. Crystal Garden? Travel to another district. Why? What a dick! I don't. Fine. Fine, I'll do it again. I'll just because it's such a nice underground passage. Because it's so nice. 
I'll just up and walk over there again. Why don't I? Uh, please tell me I don't need to go down here. Oh, now well, the park security should be perfect now. Let's head somewhere else. Oh, oh man, you got me good there. Whoo, yikes. Yikes. Fine, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I'll see you in the next episode as well. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, toodles!